Hi, my name is Anu Paavola. I am the owner of Jivita Ayurveda and the founder of Jivita Academy of Ayurveda, where we train Ayurvedic therapists, nutritionists and practitioners in this ancient art of healing. I wanted to talk to you about something that I've observed in my own practice and as my main interest lies in resolving people's dietary issues, I've come to the conclusion that one of the main problems with our health today is that we complicate things too much. We are living in a time of nutritional confusion. We have so much information about food and what it does to us. And this information is often conflicting as well. Think about coffee, for example. Do you think it's good for you or is it bad for you? There's no clarity on that. Research comes with information placing coffee in a good or bad category on a regular basis. What makes things complicated is when we focus on detail, when we lose the connection with the whole. We have so much information on detail and that's not a bad thing, but when we focus too much on that detail, we lose the connection with the whole and we easily get lost. Taking attention from the detail allows us to look at food and eating as a whole experience. You might be very good at knowing the nutritional value of the food on your plate. However, it is the whole experience that affects your digestion and absorption. Those two, digestion and absorption, are really uh, the main factors that define whether food is healthy for you or not. And the experience of eating is a mindset. It's a state of mind that eventually defines how you're going to digest your food. Thoughts create behavior, including digestive behavior. The more we study food and how it interacts with us, the more complicated it seems to get. The relationship between the gut and the brain has been a field of interest between uh, scientists already for a few decades. But also, they're coming up now with some amazing information about our microbiome, our gut bacteria, and its role in digestion. And to complicate things even more, everything is found to be on the clock. So the digestive activity is up and down with days and seasons. The bacteria, uh, gut motility, digestive enzymes, digestive hormones, they fluctuate in time on a regular basis. So how can we keep up with all this information and maintain health and prevent disease with ease? Ayurveda teaches us to take a step back and look at the big picture, look at the experience of eating that I mentioned. And it is indeed the way we eat the food and what is our relationship with that food that defines how healthy it's going to be. So you might have a great selection of healthy food items on your plate, but it doesn't mean that you're going to enjoy all those health benefits. You have to know how to eat it and when to eat it as well. So I've come to summarize this experience with three words, simple, slow, and seasonal. These um, really define easy way to access the uh, healthiness of your food. And you can so simplify your food, uh, eat it slowly, and make sure you choose seasonal items for your meals. So how can I justify that this is really the right way to nourish ourselves? I want to take you back in time um, to the place where lifestyle disorders were not as common as they are today. I only have to take you back about 100 years and even less. What do you think diet was like then? I bet you agree with me that for majority of population it was simple, slow and seasonal. 
I would go and say, this is the natural way of eating. It is the nature's diet. I would even go and say Ayurveda is natural medicine because it promotes the body to function the way nature intended. Let's take a step back even further down in history to the nomadic times. In fact, humans have been nomadic for most parts of their history. Um, think about life at those times. How do you think people ate? I bet you again agree that it was simple, slow and seasonal. And in addition, it was local. Yeah? There were, in our parts of the world, there were no strawberries at Christmas. Now instead we fly food around in a matter of a few hours around the globe. In the past, when lifestyle disorders were only a privilege of a few, food was always seasonal and local. And in addition, it was organic and homemade. Industrially produced foods did not exist. There is only one diet we all should be following. And that diet changes three times a year with the cyclic harvesting periods. We are an inseparable part of nature. And even if we take distance from that nature, we still are involved in the cycles of nature, of days and seasons. We cannot operate well unless we change our behavior along with these cycles. Our physiology forces us to change with the environment. For example, if you just uh, miss one night's sleep, next day you're unable to function really well. And that is called stress. And what do you think the ultimate description of stress is? It is the failure to adapt to the environment. To minimize stress, the best approach is to check we are in sync with the nature cycles. They are the ones that really promote our natural um, desire to be healthy and thriving. Ayurveda is the art of adaptation with the nature cycles and it's the art that we've mastered over billions of years of life on earth. Our genes work in sync with the cosmic clocks and uh, turning our body's functions on and off and good gene activity manifests when we are in sync with these cosmic routines. One of the big issues with humans is that we are losing the art of adaptation. We have a long history of living in sync in nature with the animals and plants during our adaptation game in perfect harmony. Days and seasons determined the time and place for activities. And in addition, living in nature kind of forced us to live simple, slow and seasonal lives. Ayurveda says that as parts of nature, we are made in the image of nature. We are the microcosm of our macrocosm. So what is outside is also inside us. So when we go and change the outside, the environment to something that is not in us, what do you think happens? And especially when we change that environment too fast uh, or too drastically, our bodies, yes, try to adapt, but they often fail. And remember, failure to adapt is stress. This is particularly clear with fast traveling and following jet lag. Our um, adaptive stamina has been put to test by modern urban living. We have created an environment that is partly unnatural, that is not within us. Our bodies are not receptive to the artificial foods, in other words, processed foods, and we're not used to the amount of toxins that we inhale or put on our skin. And we're also not uh, accustomed to the intensity and frequency of loud 
constant loud noises sometimes, uh, bright lights and strong smells. So our senses are quite often overloaded. These are the reasons why we should revert back to our old habits. But I don't mean going off the grid at all. We can still live and thrive in our urban communities. We just have to shift our attention to the whole. Look at the big picture. And then we'll find that being healthy is really not that complicated. We just need to simplify our lives and our diets and we need to slow down our lives and our diets and we need to be more in sync with the seasons. Many clients of mine, no new and old to Ayurveda, complain that Ayurveda and being healthy generally can be time consuming, it's complicated and sometimes even expensive. I almost totally disagree because being healthy, as I've explained, just requires you to know those three words. Simplify, slow down and be seasonal. I agree that it's hard to change your habits. However, when you experience the result of doing this, you don't want to go back. It's so amazing. It makes you feel on top of the world and it makes so much sense. Thank you for listening and bye for now.